I've been on YouTube for one year now, and in this video, I'm gonna share all of my analytics and what I've learned. Hopefully this information will help out other creators or someone thinking of starting a devlog YouTube channel. I posted 11 videos, which is just short of one per month. I probably could have uploaded more, but I had other things to prioritize near the beginning of the year, and I didn't really have time for YouTube. In total, these 11 videos brought in about 25,000 views and 1,200 hours of watch time. It's not enough to get monetized, but it's a good start. I gained about 870 subscribers, which is a little over two subscribers per day on average. The majority of these came from my first video, which I released on June 28th. It was my first real YouTube video, and it definitely isn't very good, but it gets more views than the rest of my videos combined, which is kind of interesting. This is probably because first devlogs in any project usually get the most views. If I were to go back and redo that first video, I probably would have made my game a bit more visually appealing first, since that probably would have resulted in a higher subscriber conversion rate. In terms of click-through, this video gets around 7%, which isn't that bad, and 15,000 views is a lot more than I was expecting, so it's not that bad for my first video. All of my devlogs after the first have significantly fewer views, which is a common pattern on YouTube. It's kind of funny because I think they're way better than my first video, but I guess it's just kind of the way it is. They range from about 500 to 2,000 views, and this could be because new viewers are less willing to click on a video that's in the middle of a series. Audience retention is usually between 40 and 60%, but oddly, audience retention doesn't seem to be directly related to view count or subscribers gained from a video. There are some complicated reasons why this could be the case, um, but I don't know, it's kind of just speculation. My seventh devlog, just as an example, has a very low audience retention rate, but it actually got me the most subscribers. Uh, I got about 62 from that video since I uploaded it about five months ago. Audience retention is the metric I've tried hardest to optimize, either by making my videos more concise or pushing myself to make more interesting content. These are the audience retention charts for all 11 of my videos. I'll just show it in the background. You can pause the video and study them if you want. My channel is not monetized, so obviously I can't really discuss what YouTube pays me because they don't pay me anything, but maybe next time. Here are the lessons I learned in my first year on YouTube. Probably the most important thing I've learned is that every video is a time investment, and you have to realistically assess the possible return on this investment. You have to also factor in your skill level. I'm not a professional entertainer and I've never really worked in video production, so making a good 15 minute video is a daunting task, for me anyway. Keeping people engaged for 15 minutes is not easy and it actually does take some skill to do. An example of a bad video choice I made was my Ray Tracer video. I spent months working on it and I, I like really put in a lot of effort into this video. Um, and I had these high expectations for what it would do for the channel. I thought the thumbnail looked good and all that kind of stuff. But when it was released, it actually performed worse than all of my other videos. Uh, and most of them, I just spent one week working on them. I was really proud of the result, and I, I don't regret finishing the project, but it just shows that it can be hard to predict what will do well on YouTube. And it doesn't make sense to pour effort into an idea uh, when you're just getting started. Speaking of the algorithm, it can behave very strangely sometimes, and you really do feel like it has complete control over whether you succeed or fail on the platform, which I guess in a sense it does. For example, during the entire month of March, I got way higher traffic and more subscribers than usual. I didn't do anything in that time. I didn't even upload. Um, and if you look through the analytics, you can see that it was all from YouTube recommending me on the homepage. Maybe it was testing my content to see how it would perform. It's really hard to say, but ultimately your success is determined by this algorithm and for better or worse, you have to work around it. The final thing, which should be obvious, is that development or whatever it is that you actually do should be the primary use of your time. Producing videos is a deep rabbit hole and I don't think I can get far with amazing production quality, but substandard development content. That's part of the reason why I've shifted to more focused and shorter videos towards the end of the year. All right, I don't expect a lot of people are still here, but for the five people that are, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. In fact, as a reward, you'll be the first to know that I've just set up this channel's amazing new Discord server, 
Anj the Great's palace. The link for that is in the description. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. If not, tell me how I can make these videos better in the comments. We'll be back to regular software content next week. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.